what do people actually get to see then? Yes, well, Colette, if you were in Dublin city centre between 11 and 12 o'clock today and looked up at the very clear blue sky we have today, you would have seen 16 aircraft from Baldonnell here taking part in a flyover, flyover of the city. The three helicopters here behind me taking part in that flyover. There was also a four aircraft fly past here at the casement aerodrome in Baldonnell, all part of a bigger official ceremony that took place today to mark the centenary of the Irish Air Corps. Now, the Defence Minister, Simon Coveney, here today to take part in that celebration. He praised the Defence Forces and the Air Corps and the work that they have carried out over the last two years, saying that they were a key enabler in how successfully we were able to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. They were carrying vaccines out to island communities. Um, and, of course, um, the Air Corps were also part of the logistics, uh, helping the HSC to... Uh, t to add to the numbers that we needed uh, around uh, tracing and follow-up and a whole range of other things. So the Defence Forces generally um, have been uh, essential to the COVID effort, but I think the Air Corps have quietly done their thing uh, in a way that doesn't always get recognised. So huge praise from the Minister for those in the Air Corps today. Nine pilots today, all male, also received their wings, so it is a big day for them. There's only one female pilot in the Air Corps at the moment, and the Chief of Staff of the Defence Forces says one of their aims over the coming years is to increase the number of females that are recruited and have a greater gender balance. Ashling, thank you very much for all of that.